Well, shooters and reloaders, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And I just did a video over on Patreon that talks about lead contamination in our shooting and reloading. And the part that the primers play turns out to be a major role because when we cast bullets, we're working with the plain lead alloys and as long as we don't go to our mouth we're not going to have any exposure to lead from doing our bullet casting. Now if we gather our lead and the lead dust that may be in the dirt because of the fact that the bullets keep hitting the bullets keep hitting the dirt in the berm and scouring little bits of lead into the dirt and succeeding bullet impacts keep making that tinier and smaller and grinding it into, into dust. If we expose ourselves to the dust, then breathing the dust will be a lead exposure. But if we don't have that as a problem, the casting of lead actually is not a major source of lead contamination. So when we're shooting, we don't have any food. We don't go to our mouth. We wash our hands and that keeps down our exposure. If we're going to go ahead and reload, we can wear gloves, the little rubber gloves, and those work fine to keep us from getting exposure from, from handling the lead. But it's the lead in the primers that is a problem because it's airborne lead it's lead in powder form because it's not metal lead. It's lead stiffnate. And so that actually causes a cloud of lead contamination that can be breathed. And for us reloaders, the major source of our exposure will be from the lead dust from our brass cases contaminated by the primers. So what happens is if we dry tumble we're going to concentrate that lead residue in the dry media and it'll turn into a very fine powder because of the vibration of the dry tumbler by definition. So what happens is, and you know this, when we pour that dry media out, we get a cloud. And that cloud contains lots of lead. In fact, what happened to the, the workers at USA Brass Company they were exposed to lead contamination and lead poisoning from the brass. And the source of the lead was not from the bullets, but from the primers. Not from the powder, but from the primers. And so when they processed tons of brass at USA Brass Company, they didn't have enough protocols in place, and the workers got poisoned by the lead dust. Well, for us reloaders, look at this. Notice the little white residue in the primer pockets? That's caused by the lead from the lead stiffnate. What I did was I wet tumbled this brass with the primers in. So the moisture got in there and then after I dried the brass, that moisture caused the lead from the primer residue to turn to lead oxide. And that's what that white stuff is in there. That is lead oxide. Notice how much there is in there. And you can imagine when the primer goes off, that same amount of lead residue goes into the inside of the cartridge case. And we'll get that when we dry tumble. If we wet tumble though, it'll come out in the solution and be trapped by the water. And we can dispose of that in a way that the, that the water won't go into our water supplies. And that's what's recommended. But that's the problem. It's the lead from the primers. So I'm doing this video on YouTube because there are still reloaders out there who are hanging on to the dry tumbling and saying, well, I'll dry tumble outdoors. I'll dry tumble on the porch. Well, do you want that lead powder, that powdered form to get on your property, you might not want to do that. Take care. Good health to all of you out there. And this is Fortune Cookie 45 LC saying bye for now.